Commentary time again, and it wasn't until I started recording all of this footage uh, that I realized that this is going to be the exact same two workouts as was in my last video, so I guess it's kind of a good comparison. So looking at squats, I was doing 100 kilos in the last video and 102 today, so just bumping it up 5 pounds, and while I obviously went down in reps, so I only hit 3 reps, whereas the 100, my top set was 5 reps. What I am happy about is that I did three sets of three reps each, whereas when I was doing 100 in the last video, I went five reps, four reps, three reps, whereas this time I managed to increase the weight and maintain the same rep scheme each set. So I was pretty happy about that. And squats are going pretty good. I actually, to be honest, feel like I am still kind of cheating a little bit by raising my heels like that because I never used to, but... It does seem to have helped uh, with, obviously, the butt wink I was having. Uh, and so I guess that's a good thing. And a lot of people use the Olympic lifting shoes. This might be a bit higher than those, I think. Um, I guess I'm going to keep doing it for now uh, because it's working. And obviously it's still getting the same, you know, squat movement going. And I'm still breaking down the muscle, building strength. And, of course, that is the aim of the game. So I'm happy with how squats are going. And then moving on to the next day, it was my shoulder and bicep workout. And finally, moving on to one plate for my push press. I remember uh, probably a couple of months back now when I tried to hit 60 for at least one rep on the push press and I couldn't do it, whereas I hit two here and almost got a third, couldn't quite grind out past that sticking point. Uh, and I again, here I did three sets with the same rep scheme of just two reps. So, you know, the reps are definitely going down on this as I up the weight, but the main thing is I have definitely gotten stronger in it, and I am happy with how this is progressing as well. Uh, I'll probably work with 60 for a little while until I can hit it for at least one set of five reps before I up the weight again. Um, and I might actually move back to some push pressing as well, like kind of mixing it in, which is actually what I did here. So what I have been doing in the past is I would do four sets of my push press and then just do a drop set to finish off, whereas this time I did three sets of push press, then one set here of a strict overhead press uh, for only three reps here. So obviously, you know, I was pretty fatigued after doing those sets of two reps. But, you know, I'll play around with it and mostly I'm going to focus on the push press to overload the shoulders, get them to grow. So that is going to wrap up this commentary. Done it in one take as per usual. Enjoy the rest of this video. You remember how when it got to spring it's supposed to be sunny? Yeah, me neither. I mean, seriously, it's November and it's still raining and windy and cold and I'm complaining but it sucks. I mean, whether it's raining or sunny, I'm probably going to be inside anyway doing stuff on the computer, being in the gym. But, you know, get outside a bit more and just the sun brightens your mood. Ha! Huh, get it? Brightens. <sighs> I'm hilarious. Um, so today, Saturday, did shoulders and biceps. Tomorrow's an off day. I've had a week of good workouts this week, actually. Chest is still probably my main concern at the moment. Uh, you know, I've got two months left to try and hit two plates on a bench press uh, where my max at the moment is, like, 85 kilos at the most, um, whereas it was possibly up to around 90 uh, at the start of October, so that's the most frustrating thing. I mean, I'm still going to try and push for two plates by the end of the month. What I might do is try and start doing some more forced rep bench pressing because I feel that way uh, I can overload the bar and f I'll focus on doing the negative portions and then, you know, getting some help up. So... In, in that sense, you know, maybe at the moment I can barely do 85. If I put 90 on the bar, get someone to help me on the concentric portion, you know, pressing the weight up, uh, and then maybe just do like three reps like that, that's really going to help overload. And I think that's actually a good idea. 
so I might do that. Apart from that though, deadlifts are probably another concern. I really need to start doing rack pulls, which I keep saying and never do. So maybe this next deadlift session, which is coming up on Tuesday, I might finally do some rack pulls. And then squats are good. I'm actually enjoying squats. And the weight is going up with squats and I feel like my form is pretty tight on that. So happy with that. And then today on the overhead press, was pressing, push pressing actually, uh, 60 kilos which is pretty good you know nothing great I would like to be just overhead pressing that not push pressing but you know you gotta start somewhere and I still remember when I couldn't press 40 kilos so you know it's all about thinking where you came from where you are now I'm gonna have some food now and I mentioned in the last video uh, which was uploaded on Saturday but made on Thursday that I had no idea what I was going to add to my diet to hit 4,000 calories for the day. That was on Wednesday I actually decided, you know what, I want to hit 4,000 calories every day. And since Wednesday I still haven't hit it. I've just been eating my normal calories because I have no idea what to add to my diet and I just don't want to add more of the same stuff. And finding something that's somewhat healthy that's not loaded with sugar or anything and that's I guess something I want to eat finding that is kind of difficult but anyway that being said I'm sure I will find something and hopefully by at least the start of next week which technically is the day you are watching this video on Monday so hopefully this week I will be hitting 4,000 calories daily and once I do figure out what I'm gonna eat I will tell you that but in tomorrow's cardio so I'll probably see you all tomorrow morning when I weigh in. Just a random side note while I think of it, I always worry that I'm never going to have enough footage for a video and then I go and do four or five minute rants just like that. That clip was four minutes long if I used the whole thing. I always worry I'm never going to have enough footage and then I just go ahead and talk and talk and talk. So weighing in at 74 kilos this morning, which kind of surprised me, up one kilo from last week. And so maybe I don't actually need to go to 4,000 calories just yet, because I've been going up pretty much the last four weeks steadily. Although I guess that was because I was just getting back to uh, where I was a month ago. So I am happy that I'm back to exactly where I was. Um, and I guess... I will still look to get to 4,000 calories eventually, just maybe I don't need to rush into it. Maybe I can go up to like 3,800 and then 3,850, just up at like 50 calories each week. Unless I see a drop next week, in which case I might just jump straight up, but we'll wait and see what happens there. As you can probably tell from uh, the background, the, uh, the weather hasn't improved much, but... Um, that was a good cardio session, 15 minutes of hit, and I'm actually slowly doing like a little bit more each time I do cardio, so if I do bump up my calories it kind of compensates a little bit. So like I started off doing 10 minutes, and I think, you know, I've added like two more sprints at the end, so I'll do 30 seconds on, a minute off, and so I've just added two more 30 seconds on, and then that obviously adds two more one minutes where I rest, but uh, yeah, good cardio session. Back to uh, chest and triceps tomorrow, and um, yeah, all things going pretty well. So, I think I'll wrap up the video here and go home and eat some food, get out of the rain. So, thank you all for watching. Don't forget, if you want a one month free membership on musculostrength.com, there is a link in my description box. Make sure you use it. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.